Morning folks, welcome back to the channel. You join me here in Avi Moor on Tuesday the 6th of October. Um, the plans for today is we are heading over to Oban and going to spend the day and tonight in Oban and then tomorrow morning we are going to catch the ferry over to Isla Mull, spend a few days in Isla Mull uh, hoping to trek up Ben Moore. For you guys that don't know what Ben Moore is, it's the only Monroe that stands in the Isla Mall. So I'll take you guys along in that journey and I'll try film as much as I can. Uh, hopefully the weather stays nice to us and I get plenty of footage. So catch us in a bit. <laughs> Okay guys, so we finally made it to Oban and we'll keep to some cool old tower called McCrabe's Tower. I'll show you it's around that in a second. But if you look out here, you'll see where we're going tomorrow. In the background there is Isla Mall. And that's obviously one of the ferries that we'll be going on to tomorrow. So I'll show you around this place now. Is your tour of McCrabe's Tower. Uh, I forgot to mention also it was a bit of a nightmare to actually get up the hill to McCrabe's Tower so if you come thing if you come come in and anything bigger than my van I wouldn't recommend it. Park at the bottom of the hill and walk up it wouldn't take long uh, the road up is very narrow and it's got really tight bends in it so got you in a bit Right, okay guys, uh, I was going to go to that castle up there that you see in the background next, but it's shut obviously due to COVID-19 and stuff. So I've just decided to come for a wee walk and it's decided to rain. Shock, but I uh, came across this cool thing here. Not actually so sure what's going on here, but it's, it's like somebody's dropped it there and left the trees on a... Uh, the top of it, it's quite cool. I'll uh, just show you that. Uh, according to this notice board, some Celtic warrior back in the day 
tied his dog to that rock. Then again, he was away fighting in the war or what, but uh, must have been some size of dog anyway, if he needed a boulder that size. That's a dog here, I'm pump assuming. So, uh, back at the van now, it started chucking it down my rain outside, so uh, I wasn't going to carry on walking, uh, so I just turned around, came up to the van. So, I'll introduce you guys now to my two dogs. Just turn you around. Dog number one, Buddy Boy. As you can see, Buddy doesn't smile much. He just cries all the time, and he's a very needy dog. Has to be sitting on somebody's knee 24/7. And this here is Bella. Hey, Bells. Bella's not so needy. Well, I say that now. She wants up on my knee. Okay. And I do have another dog, but due to personal reasons, uh, she doesn't stay with me. Uh, you would have seen her though in the last video when I was walking up the two main rows. So the next time I'm with her, I will uh, show you guys her. And that's I think going to be it for day one, guys, because. I don't can't see me doing anything else today. I'm probably just gonna go find somewhere to park up for tonight and chill out for the rest of the night. Get up nice and early tomorrow morning and catch the ferry over to Isla Mall. See you tomorrow, guys. Okay, morning, guys. It's uh, now day two now. Uh, Found a decent spot to park up last night. It's called is it Gran Granavan Sands or something? Can't remember the name. What? Really nice. Uh, just right beside the beach. Now we've got a 15-minute drive round to the ferry dock. Uh, boarding finishes at half past eight, so I ought to better probably get my skates on. Uh, what else? I didn't really film much yesterday. Uh, just the weather had a big part in that and didn't really do much, I just kind of parked up for the night and chilled for a while. Uh, so hopefully film some more today, hopefully. And hopefully the ferry ride across to Isla Mall isn't uh, too choppy because, well, the dogs have never been in a boat before, so hopefully they're okay with that. Uh, Isla Mall is actually, you could see it from here, but it's just pure mist at the moment. Uh, the weather's crap outside just now. It's, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's it's blowing a hoolie and it's uh, chucking it down as per usual. So I'll pick you guys up around again at the ferry docks. Righty ho guys, we are now on the ferry, uh, I see now why this ferry takes up to 45 minutes to cross because it's very slow, but when you're on a speedboat away so I suppose it would be slow, uh, ferry's full, well full of cars and lorries anyway, I'm not sure how much foot passengers actually got on, there's a couple of lorries behind us, uh, 
see state, I can just kind of see the state. The see it's there's a few. It's a bit choppy. There's nothing. I mean, it does feel like you're on a boat, but it's not enough to give you seasick or anything. It's just bobbing up and down. Dogs seem fine. Buddy's sitting in the front here with me, as always. Buddy always sits in the front. And Bella. I can't see Bella because it's dark in the back there, but Bella is there somewhere. Hi, Bells. So, yeah. Uh, and guess what? It stopped raining and it looks like the sun is going to come out. So, hopefully, it's fine and dry for the rest of the day. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to wild camp tonight. And then tomorrow, when we do bed more, I've booked myself into a somewhere with what past the van. Probably thinking I'm lost the plot because I'm speaking to some fluffy hedgehog thing, which is my mic. Um, I have booked myself into a campsite uh, just because after I do a Monroe, oh yeah, guys. Stare at me, think of the fuck's it going on. Uh, sorry, I've booked myself into a campsite uh, just so I can get a shower and that after. Well, hopefully, I'll be doing some. Well, no, nah, I will be because I've, I've got my waterproof. So, as I say, there's no such thing as bad weather, it's bad clothing. Aye, never mind. Right, guys, catch you in a bit. Okay guys, we're now in Isle of Mull and we've came to a small village called Toblamore and apparently this is where they filmed the kids programme Balamore and as you'll see, some of the houses are now behind me some of them there and all the way over that street lots of different coloured houses something different I suppose uh, I'm just going to have a wander about here for a while, maybe film some footage. Uh, there's a bakery down there that I'm going to try, it looks pretty decent. But first I'm going to take these two little numpties back to the van, because they're wanting to go in every single shop we walk past. A couple of nice wee boats out there in the water. So yeah guys, catch you in a bit, okay? Right guys, I was just on my way to the bottom of Ben Moore. That's where I'm gonna sleep in the van for tonight, just at the bottom of there. When I came across these beauties, check these three abandoned ships. There's one over the thingy. Don't know how long they've been sitting here, but they definitely weren't taking in fish yesterday, that's for sure. Uh, I'll just show you around them just now. Proven wrong, so I've basically I've driven all the way around Isla Mill now, pretty much, uh, and I've also learnt that 
probably about eighty percent of the roads on Isla Mall are single track road, bumpy roads. But hey, I wasn't expecting any more ways, that's for sure. Uh, so here, this is where gonna be camping or sleeping in a van, whatever you want to call it tonight. And up for Ben Moore. As you can see, if you see that car, it's basically a path starts over there and Ben Moore is over there in the background. Uh, so I think that, that'll, probably, that'll probably be it for today anyway and I uh, don't think there's anything else. And then I'll pick it up, pick these up again tomorrow morning, up nice and early. Up onto the summit of Ben, uh, ben Moore. And that'll be it. Catch you in a bit, guys. Okay, morning, folks. It's day three of this vlog. Feels like I've been doing it for about a week now. Well, 15 20 minutes for you. Uh, today is trekking day. We're going up Ben Moore. Hopefully, it'll only take us about five to six hours. Uh, it's half past seven. I did plan on being away by about six o'clock, but the dogs wanted a long lie, so they wouldn't get up for their breakfast. Um, what else? Weather. It's not cold, it's not raining, that's fine. Uh, doesn't look like we'll see much. I think the sunrise is supposed to be over there, but can't see any sunrise, uh, it's very cloudy so I don't think we'll be seeing any sun today uh, if it rains it rains, I've got my waterproof so do it your best rain um, what else put my bag there just now and it's uh, a lot heavier than usual just because I've got a lot extra stuff like uh, thicker gloves, my ski goggles, balaclava body warmer just because it's coming into colder trekking days so you gotta prepare for the worst right guys I'll uh, I'll shut up now and I'll catch you up on a mountain somewhere Okay guys, uh, the jacket is now off because it's it was getting too hot, obviously. Uh, we're probably just under halfway up. Uh, aye, just under halfway up. Uh, if you are wondering what this badge is, that's my Everest Base Camp badge. Yep. I have been to Everest Base Camp before guys, uh, I have got a video on that. Whoa. Ah. I was too busy looking at the camera and not where I was going and just stood in a massive dubby puddle. Uh, what was I saying? Hi. I have got a video on my YouTube channel of my Everest Base Camp trip. As you can see guys, I'm never very good at multitasking, I cannot, I cannot walk and speak to the camera, so I'll just stay here. Uh, I video on uh, Everest Base Camp is on my YouTube channel, check it out guys, it's, it's quite a good one. Okay guys, so that's the summit of uh, Ben Moore up there, kind of covered by a cloud just now. And I'll just spin you around and you can see where we came from. It's quite a steep path up so far as expected. I've never really been filming much to be fair just because I 
It's not really much to show you. It's been the same boggy path all the way up, and it's I mean it's, it's a stunning view, but it's the same. It's been the same view all the way up. So I'll catch you on the top. <laughs> summit of Ben Moore. Not like you would think it. Probably looks like I'm in a car park or somewhere. <laughs> uh, it was about 200 metres for the summit and my visibility was like this white stuff came in and it was actually kind of, it was like a fleet as well that was coming down. That down there, it's just a sh I don't know if you can see it. But that down there is just a sheer drop. You would not even think it. Uh, I'm not going to film on the way back down because be nothing, unless I come across some red deer or something, I'm going to be filming that. But the camera's going to go in the bag. I'm going to quickly hit an energy bar to get me some energy, and uh, I'll uh, catch you at the bottom. Campsite. That's going to be my spot for the next two nights. Uh, the campsite's called Toblemore uh, Campsite. Uh, it's about a 20 minute walk to the town uh, Toblemore. Uh, the campsite is £10 a night per person and £5 if you want electric hookup, which I don't have. I just came here because I wanted a shower. Uh, I'll take you as a tour. Okay guys, so as you can see, there's a few static caravans here and you can't see them thing. There's a couple of wee little huts over there, a few motorhomes here. Uh, toilets, showers, more showers there, reception up there. Place as pretty much the whole of Isla Mall. The road up was uh, very narrow, and I was kind of halfway up thinking there's no way there's a campsite up here, but there is. There's no exactly great views to see. There's a few mountains you can see over there. Uh, we waterfall. So I'm gonna go get a shower, but. I think I'm going to end this vlog here guys because although I'm here all day tomorrow I probably won't be doing anything exciting I'll just be chilling out and spending some time with the dogs uh, In terms of the next vlog I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing yet I've not got anything planned but I'm sure that will change uh, I've kind of neglected the paddle board just now but I would like to keep going with it through winter, so I think I'll get some winter clothing for it. Uh, the next vlog will either be up some mountain or paddle boarding. No doubt it'll be touring somewhere with this thing. Anyway guys, uh, if you have liked this vlog, uh, please do like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm sure I'll try put out some more vlogs in the future. Stay safe guys, see ya.